Our first guest uh, is in the third year of his own hit uh, television program on the Showtime Cable Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to this show the greatest daredevil superstar entertainer of our time, <laughs> Super Dave Osborne. Dave! Thank you for coming. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. The Super Dave sweatshirt for you. That's and, great. Uh, you are you a 15 and a half, 34? Yeah, that's it exactly, right. as a matter of fact. There's your size. That's very nice of you. I really appreciate it because a lot of You're times welcome. people will bring stuff out, but this actually will fit. Thank you very much. Well, I'll tell you something. I receive a lot of gifts. Yeah. And when I receive clothing, that isn't my size. Yeah. To me, uh, I'm saying the guy didn't mean to bring it. It's, it's a little of, yeah, kind of It's a insult. lack of respect. Right, is what exactly. It is. Well, this will be just perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is great. That. Exactly my size. Thank you. <laughs> I really, uh, very thoughtful of you. Happy birthday. Thank you. That's so thoughtful of you to get the perfect size. Do you have a good Thanksgiving? <clears throat> great. You know, I was, uh, I was watching your show. And it occurs to me, have you ever done this? Have you ever thought about having celebrities do any of those stunts? I know they're very dangerous. Well, um, I know what I'm doing. And, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and if I were to involve a celebrity without a lot of practice and years of, uh, of experience that yeah. I have, there could be a serious accident. We could be involved in a lawsuit. Sure. I tried something with a superstar mm -hmm. on one of my shows, and it was almost a total disaster. Oh, that's too bad. So uh, that was a good lesson. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, we didn't air it, so... Uh, oh, but it, it was actually taped? Listen, I, I talked to your producer, Billy, tonight. Bob. And, Bob. And he said... That, <laughs> he said there would be no tape. Mm -hmm. That's the deal we made. Yeah, we have now, some my tape, staff, I know it said they sent it over, but I don't think... I'm here to push a book, so if we can just get onto that, I would love okay. it. Let's take a look. Hal, if you have the tape loaded up, let's go ahead and roll that. This would be the... You don't mind. I mean, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll just see. And, and if it's a problem later, we'll take it out of the show. All right, just know that this involved... It was a mistake. It was a mistake involving a superstar, and we shouldn't be showing it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this will be fun. Kind of an inside glimpse, behind-the-scenes show business. Here we go. Super... Thanks, Hal. It's Hal Gurney right there. Wow! What an incredible human being! An 80 degree spin. What can he possibly do to top this? Oh, top this. Super Dave. Super Dave, are you all right? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. Super Dave, let <laughs> me be the first to congratulate you. That was the most brilliant opening I have ever seen in the history of television. Guys, let's roll those opening billboards right now, okay? There we are. Uh, yeah, guys, are we off? Yeah, we're off, yeah. Oh, I think I heard my collarbone oh. snap. <laughs> oh, how much pain I'm in. Well, let me oh, give you a little help here. God. Super, I just, uh, I had a couple of questions I wanted to what ask. Do you I just, want? Well, I just can't believe what you just did. I mean, you could have killed yourself before the show even started. What an incredible stunt. Fat face, that wasn't the stunt. <laughs> My car is in the shop, and this is alone, and I'm not used to driving a stick shift. Wow. <laughs> Man, alive. Who was that? That was Ray Charles. Yeah, I know. No, it okay. was a major mistake. I know, but it was fun to look at, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. We drove 42 miles, 28 of them in a circle. <laughs> Uh, do you have any other tape we can look at? We're not showing any. Okay, anymore. let's do a commercial. We'll, all right, we'll get to the book, and then maybe there's some other tape. We'll be right back. Here with Super Dave. How about you know Jimmy Connors, being a great athlete yourself? Well, I don't know him personally, but you ever he's played tennis with him? No, I haven't. Yeah. Haven't had the opportunity, but I'd love to. Do you play tennis? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. What about golf? Yeah, I play golf too. Softball? Can we just push the book? Basketball? 
Yeah, I play basketball. You touch football? I touch football. I box. I wrestle. <laughs> ice hockey. Are, are you a, are you a bowler? <laughs> uh, yeah, the book. Letters of Hope, uh, Super Dave Osborne. Uh, this was, I guess, the original, and this did very well, didn't well, it? Well, I can thank you very much. Uh, the support that Showtime and you have given mm -hmm. me, this sold out. It's now in paperback. Yeah. And, uh, That's great. And I know, think you read a couple uh, excerpts on the show. Well, I read a beautiful story on the show, and this one dealt with uh, letters that people have sent me throughout the years showing how if your love relationship has a problem, you can overcome anything. It's Nothing a, it's is beautiful... insurmountable. Absolutely. No. And th this would be, I guess, the sequel. And, and when you're looking in your bookstore, look for volume, volume, two. volume two there. That's right. <laughs> you know, both of these photos, I can't uh, help but notice that you're really a very good-looking man, Dave. <laughs> so do you have... <laughs> what about camping? Do you ever go camping? Do you, have, do you have anything? Yes, I would love to read a story. Oh, oh I'm sorry, uh, sure, there you go. This is a book, uh, I get uh, millions of letters, and what uh, we did is we're... <laughs> we're grouping them into books now, and this one has to do with uh, father-daughter, father-son, mother-son, mother-daughter relationships. Yeah. No more, and, no more uh, important than it is now. Absolutely. Never and more important There's than one now. letter in here that is absolutely beautiful, and beautiful for the holidays. It shows how a father begins to understand his daughter at a later age in life. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was said to be by a Madeline Mandel. Mm -hmm. And the father's name is Joe. I won't do the last name. Uh, <laughs> it seems that one evening, Joe went into his daughter Janet's bedroom. And there was a vibrator on the bed. And, And Janet came into the bedroom, and the father said, what's going on here? What is happening? And she said, listen, Daddy, I'm 45 years old. That's just, that's ugly. That's really ugly. I'm 45 years old. Just pathetic. I still live at home. I hate my job. I don't have a man. I have to have a life. Uh -huh. So the father shrugs his shoulders and walks out of the bedroom. The next night, Janet comes home from work, mm -hmm. and the father is sitting at the bar, and he's got a martini in one hand and the vibrator in the other. <laughs> and she says, Daddy, what are you doing? And he says, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm having a drink with my son-in-law. You know, that's just about the ugliest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Volume two, so look for the little Roman numeral two there when you're in your bookstore. Uh, we, now, we have some more tape of you well, in action. I don't want to show any what, more What tape. is this other bit of tape? I know what was sent no, over this here. Is, you're in a part of an association to no. promote some kind of highway... Uh, the Sing-Along Society of North America. Right. And what I was going to do uh, with my stunt coordinator, Fuji, uh, the Sing-Along Society of North America believes that if I can promote singing along, it will end highway profanity. Because you can't sing a swear word. Oh, you sing word. in your car. Absolutely. Oh, I see. So I was going to go on a five-day, 5,000-mile trip, and Fuji prepared this bus, uh, state-of-the-art inside. 1,000 miles a day. And on top, we had, we had chaise lounges and patio furniture and an exercise bike and a barbecue and an yeah. upright piano. Uh -huh. And I was going to sing... Uh, while traveling, and uh, there was a slight problem. I don't want to show this Let's thing, because I'm redoing it I'll now. go ahead and roll it. Let's see uh, Super Dave awesome. here on his uh, five-day journey uh, around America. Great. Why don't you follow me to the county line? Okay. We'll so get to see what it's like to sing along. Sure. Okay, food, start the bus. <laughs> and put on my favorite song. You know what? He even has the lyrics here for me. He doesn't forget anything. Have a great week. See you next week. Trailer for sale. <laughs> Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no phone, no text. I ain't got no cigarettes. Two hours of pushing broom buys a 
paid the twelve four bedroom mama made of means by money king of the road third box car midnight train remember if you're going on a vacation put a couch on your car give this a try it's sensational fun I don't pay no yin yin dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Short but not too big. Rain of means by no means. King of the road. Super Dave Osborne, ladies and gentlemen. A nice little treasure.